Hey guys, what is going down? Aries here with my Cocaster Green. Um, Hello. In the ever ending battle of StarCraft II's brutal campaign. Um, this is the <laughs> zero hour where we have to hold out um, for like 20 minutes, I think. And Yeah, but in fast, it's like seven. <laughs> yeah, or, or no, it's probably like 14, but uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to make it one whole um, video of me sitting around with bunkers and marines. Uh, so I think I did it like times three or times two or something, something really easy. Um, there is some side objectives in this mission, but don't do them on Brutal, and I'm not going to be doing them either, um, as you will see very soon. <laughs> yeah, I decided to play this on easy. I went destroyed every single Zerg base and built expansions before I got rescued on like normal speed. Yeah, there's like an achievement for destroying a lot of the Zerg hatcheries. Um, yeah, but that's on hard. Oh, yeah. that is that is difficult. <laughs> well, I didn't even save any of the of the mercenary guys who were asking for help. I just said, "Nope, you're gonna die," and they did. Unfortunately, so I didn't save them, even though the game kind of wanted me to. Um, okay, so what you're going to basically do is you're going to bunker yourself in. You're going to bunker off all the bridges so the Zerglings get to do no damage, and you're going to pull off a lot of SCVs to repair the bunkers, and you're going to build a ton of missile turrets, and um, yeah, this mission's pretty simple. I'm not fast-forwarding this first part just because this is when you get set up. Once you're set up, it, the mission is a piece of cake. Yeah, it's just like the third mission in the original StarCraft. Oh, this is just kind of a, a, a note. Um, I sent this Marine out because I, I just wanted to see if he could get there without having to fight anyone, but no, he, the Zerg actually are burrowed, um, so... Yeah, they'll pop up around randomly. <laughs> yeah. He got murdered. Yeah, but that's, that's right when I um, decided that I'm not going to even try to save these guys that are out in the field of battle. Um, Here they come! So Lock yes. and load! They're, I think, no, you don't even get research at this point in the game, so we don't even have to worry about that. So there's no incentive at all. Yeah, basically. And I don't even think, I think it might count as a mission objective. I'm not sure if it would have given me the achievement for this level or not, for completing all the objectives, um, because I had already, you know, played through the campaign and gotten most of the achievements. Yeah... Trying to get all the achievements on the Zera tool um, missions would be like ridiculous. Are you trying that for the Zera tool picture? Yeah, it's really hard. Oh yeah, I, I especially the first mission where you can't damage him health wise is like impossible. Oh what that? Oh I can't even imagine that. I'm actually at my current recording. I have the game paused at the first mission. <laughs> of Sarah Tool. Like, I started, I, I recorded the cutscene, and then I just, I, I was kind of tired and had to go on vacation and all that fun stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, don't Yeah, that one is difficult. I, I can probably see it. Um, I, I just don't like Protoss. They're not, they're, they're my least favorite faction, race, whatever you want to call them. I call them factions, just because I'm used to Red Alert. Um... <laughs> They were called factions, red alert. Um, here's a little trick. If you get your SCV stuck on the wrong side of a bunker, you can just put them in there and then drop them out, which is what I did. Um, oh, I didn't actually notice you could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can put the waypoints of bunkers at specific areas. Um, so here yeah. they're going to send a few mutalisks after you, but your turrets and bunkers and stuff like that should be no problem. And this I turret mutalisks. <laughs> that turret just lived by barely no life. Um, don't get psi locked, food locked, whatever you want to call it. That little thing at the top right, you don't want to... Supply. Wanna, yeah, si supply locked, psi locked. I call it psi locking yourself. Hmm. Um, so here's my basic general defending strategy. Um, for every bunker that you have, have one SCV. And for your turrets, I would have probably two SCVs per each side. There are those little kind of outcroppings. They're the, the workers. Yeah, the SCVs, the worker dudes. I kind of I kind of expect most people to know that, but um, if they're trying it on Brutal, but yes. Those things. 
and once you have your bunker line defended pretty well, you just need to put up a few turrets. Um, don't over turret because turrets can't shoot ground, obviously. Um, but uh, you don't want to lose to any mutalisks coming down the center. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to do is we're basically going to build up an army behind our bunkers to basically nullify zerglings and roaches. Um, because roaches and zerglings get close enough that any units behind bunkers can shoot them. And then the bunkers can deal with hydralisks and such. And I think that I'm building like two reactors on my um, barracks so I can get me some more marines. Oh uh, yeah, but uh, the best thing later on when you can upgrade is to make medics without the tech lab. Oh yeah, I get that. I think I get. I think that's like the first upgrade I buy, um, because you're going to be using medics for a lot of the first few missions, and if you can just put a tech lab and mass produce marines, then you're you're golden. You mean a reactor? <laughs> uh yeah, that that thing. And don't forget, hydralisks are like super good against buildings. Uh yeah, they can they can get a lot so of DPS. Don't. I think they're like the highest DPS unit in the game. Um, uh, I'm I don't know. Because <laughs> I know the Thor definitely isn't. Thor does a, quite a punch. Um, but I think the Yamato cannon is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Trust in the battle cruiser. It's a trap. Um, <laughs> no, we'll have a lot of fun with that when we do the battle cruiser mission. Um, so yeah, just build up an army uh, just in case. Um, you're, you're probably not going to need it. I don't. They never even bust these two bunkers, even during their final assaults of the of the time. And I think I like try to build a bunker or something. Uh, what I would suggest that I didn't do because you know I kind of didn't expect it. If you look at the bottom left corner of your base, they're gonna do some drops there of. Um, Mutalisks. Well, usually, no, they're they're right? gonna fly. They're gonna fly those weird little bomb things that that cause that uh, spread creep tumors and such. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I would, I would just put a bunker there maybe, or do like uh, put a few marines there because I did not, and it can kind of be a pain if you just. I, I think at one point there were just idle zerglings in my base that were sitting there, and they for some reason didn't have anything to do. <laughs> that's so, weird. Yeah. Um, I find that odd that they didn't really figure it. The computer would forget a unit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here we start doing, I think, times four. Um, just one more thing to remember is SEVs in the campaign are default um, auto repair. Um, in multiplayer, they have it deactivated um, defaultly. But in campaign, they just run around and repair stuff. <laughs> yes. They will, if they're idle, they will repair automatically. But in camp. Pain, or no, in multiplayer they won't, but in campaign they will. Um, Which is kind of awesome. <laughs> it's also very annoying if you have SCVs running around, and uh, like say I'm having them follow my army, they'll just start repairing, if, even if I don't ask them to. It's sometimes annoying, like there was one mission where I was trying to have an SCV do something and he kept running backwards to repair. Um, so, it, it can have its advantages. But you can deactivate uh, it if you hit, I think you right click their repair button um, in their little menu. Um, so here you, you might see me loading up the bunkers at the front of my base. You want to do that because they're going to start bombing uh, those things. I don't know what the hell they're called, but you want to make sure you have those bunkers there so that... I think they're just like kind of tumors or some sort. Yeah, those things. I don't think they have a real crashing. name. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Just load those up for just you know safety. I think they start bombing my mineral line too, and I like lose all my SCVs. So that wasn't very cool. I think yeah, here one of. I think that's the only bunker that died this mission. So I would have actually gotten the achievement for not salvaging or losing a structure on this mission. Wait, I, no, I didn't lose a missile turret. So here, yeah, they just start bombing you like crazy. Yeah, I got uh that the not lose a single unit or whatever in the first try. <laughs> but I was playing on normal just to get it over with. I think the one unit that I lost was like I lost one SCV and I lost that Marine who went um, that went out to try to save all of his buddies. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the mission. Oh yeah, this part's kind of awesome. Yeah, but we need to get off so people can watch the cutscene. Star Battle Cruiser. See you guys.
Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the park. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there.